Hi folks, I'm thinking about Raspberry Pi 6. It's not Raspberry Pi 5, it's Raspberry Pi 6. Last year, in the spring, I've listened to an interview with Ibn Upsten and I was greatly disappointed when uh, I've heard that Raspberry Pi 5 would not have been available until this year. But fortunately, in autumn, I got my Raspberry Pi 5. This was a surprise to my son and to me as well because he was then able to get Raspberry Pi 5 to play with. It's, uh, it's really much faster than Raspberry Pi 4. However, you might not like the fact that it is a little bit slower than the cheapest mini PCs. That's why I'm already thinking about Raspberry Pi 6. I believe that my predictions will eventually come through. But first, we're gonna discuss Raspberry Pi 5's deficiencies and later on we're gonna discuss probable Raspberry Pi 6 architecture. Let's begin. Raspberry Pi 5, and it's fun, it's pure fun, but is it a desktop? Of course it is, because it was promoted with a keyboard and a mouse and you don't promote a computer with a keyboard and mouse if it is not a desktop. But there are things that I would like to discuss because I think that Raspberry Pi 6 would have been even better if it would have much more computing power. It should also retain certain advantages of Raspberry Pis. Raspberry Pis are small computers that can also be not only desktops, but they can also be robotic controllers for your Bokuk vehicles, even for drones. You have a full range of uses and many are not possible with the classic PC. What's wrong with it? At first, Raspberry Pi was meant for the poor, was meant for those who weren't able to afford a proper classic PC. But today, Raspberry Pi 5 does not fit the story because it's uh, not exactly the cheapest option for those who would like to have their first computer, who don't have any kind of power supplies left, uh, don't have any cases left, don't have fans left to cool the computer. Because if you're going to a computer store and if you are buying a bare Raspberry Pi 5, you get just the computer without a power supply, without a mouse, without a keyboard, without case. And of course you will still have to buy an SD card. But if you want to have a little more powerful Raspberry Pi 5, then you will also have to buy an extension card and an SSD drive. With all this, Raspberry Pi 5 is not cheaper in any way than a low-end mini PC that comes pre-assembled and even with the operating system which is 99 <laughs> cases Windows. And this is why Raspberry Pi 6 will have to bring big improvements to what Raspberry Pi 5 has to offer. But it's also true that you are unable to play really complex 3D games with 3D graphics on either Raspberry Pi 5, Orange Pi 5, Rock Pi 5 or a mini PC. You need a powerful graphics card to do this. And there is one more thing that I don't like much with Raspberry Pi 5. I have to use Wi-Fi lock and power on manager just to get it working as a normal PC. I use ESP32 CAM module to be able to control Raspberry Pi 5's power states. I know exactly when it's on and I can also store my intention, what I want it if there is a power outage. This is the same as with the classic PC. I don't use a Raspberry Pi 5 special keyboard when I work. I work daily with my Raspberry Pi 5, but I use a ergonomic keyboard. It preserves my wrists. What about improving performance of Raspberry Pi 5 to get Raspberry Pi 6 system on chip? Whether it's gonna be 27, uh, 13 or what, I, we don't know. But what has to be improved is GPU performance. There must be more cores probably, or each core should be many times more powerful, which I doubt, uh, because modern graphics cards have even a thousand cores. So this is a lot. Do I believe in external graphics cards for the Raspberry Pi? I don't think that this is very plausible because it actually tears down the whole philosophy of Raspberry Pi because any kind of Raspberry Pi is a small computer. Raspberry Pi 6 may grow a little bit bigger, maybe one and a half times to accommodate some additional connectors, but not 10 times bigger. Say that it would be a full 80x sized, 
no way because we already have classic species that are this big and they have to buy a big box to put them in we have to buy everything that comes with it raspberry pi is a small computer small and powerful and possibly a little bit cheap than a mini pc and apple's minis but because you have to assemble it yourself but Apple's Minis, at least for now, are not under question because they are in $500 or $400 range, but they offer much better graphics and they are comparable to classic PC and, of course, to mini PCs as well. What about CPU performance? I believe that CPU performance will have to be greatly increased. We are not talking about four cores, but about 16 ARM Cortex A720 cores. This means that we get from ARM V8 architecture to ARM V9 architecture. So we get a more modern core and we have more of them. And this is possible because Raspberry Pi will have to make a switch from 60 nanometers technology that Broadcom is using now to produce 2712 chip to maybe 7 nanometers technology. And this brings much more room for implementing more complex circuits within a chip. Bigger caches, wider buses, more functional units or more powerful functional units. Right now we have one memory bank and this only supports an inbuilt DDR4 module. This is of course not enough because we have 17 gigabytes per second, but with a classic PC, we have 76 gigabytes per second. So this is a tremendous difference. RAN can support processor much quicker and besides that even CPU within an Intel N100 processor has much larger caches. Geek test results also show that this should be improved. In a desktop computer business it is very important for the CPU design to be better. If you are talking about PCIe bus that connects internal and external devices to the system on chip it should be at least 100 gigabits per second and this is about 10 gigabytes per second but we also have an external bus which is only one lane i guess it's not even enough for the quickest ssd drives external bus will have to also get at least four lanes internal may get to eight lanes but one more thing about PCIe is its version because it determines the speed of a single lane and a speed of a single lane within Raspberry Pi 5 currently is 2.0 okay you can set it to 3 but there is a warning not because source 3.0 wouldn't be supported but actually it's problem of stability Raspberry Pi 6 will have to fully support version 3.0. This means 10 gigabits per channel, the standard, like in a mini PC. We could have more channels, let's say eight channels, that was double the speed, and each channel would be twice as fast. So we get much faster PCIe bus. And also external PCIe bus, on my opinion, should be at least four lanes. Now let's take a look of the other functionalities we want to have improved. There is one thing missing, not only M2 connector that I believe that with Raspberry Pi 6 would get to the underside of the board as it is on Orange Pi 5 or Rock Pi 5. So you can simply stick an SSD drive in, but it will also get our analog audio connector back because we still use many of analog devices that can directly connect without any kind of converted, without any kind of USB sound cards. I believe that two HDMI ports will remain, but if there would be more RAM, which I think there there would obviously be at least twice as much. So we would get from 8 gigabytes to 16 or even 32 gigabytes of RAM. Then 4K graphics could be replaced by 8K graphics. And of course, I expect improvements to the A1991 power management chip because I believe that the best solution would be the same as classic PCUs. So you have battery for your clock. It also enables you to store the settings. I know that right now battery is not obligatory, but in the future model, if there is uh, just a little bit bigger board, let's say one and a half of the size 
or maybe twice the size of the credit card, there may be also enough room for the battery holder. So you put the battery in, you don't need this long cable, you don't have to stick the battery to the case of your computer and so on and so on. That's it for today. Press subscribe and like button if you've liked today's talk. The next video is coming soon. Bye. <laughs>